As guardians of our province's history, the Royal BC Museum and Archives ensures that artifacts, documents and specimens from across BC are preserved for future generations. Now a specimen collected in 1995 is helping answer a question that's been plaguing researchers from the coast of California all the way north to Alaska. We have over 65,000 lots of animals that um, have been collected from the marine, terrestrial and freshwater environments from around BC. 65,000 specimens in the invertebrate collection alone. Last year we had people from as far as Russia come and visit the collection to look at the specimens. Including a few unidentified. When you collect an animal and put it in a museum, sometimes you can't always identify it down to species. Which is what happened 20 years ago. Back in 1995, museum staff actually went out and did a bunch of collections just in Fisherman's Wharf here in um, Victoria. And they were collecting animals for a public program, so they didn't actually pick it specifically for um, museum research. But after the day, they decided to put some of the animals in the collection because they didn't recognize them. One specimen was simply identified to its family within the skeleton shrimp. It just sat on the shelves for about 15 to 20 years. And then in 2008, researchers around BC started finding this introduced caprellid amphipod um, to BC. Known as Caprella mutica, or the Japanese skeleton shrimp, it had already been found in California, Oregon, Washington, most recently in Alaska. So we were filling in the gaps and one of the things we were wondering is how long could it potentially have been here because it was all along our coast. And so the researchers turned to the museum collections to see if there was any evidence of it. And in one of the last files they checked where it had just been identified to this family caprellid, they looked through and they found that there was this species and it was collected in 1995. Which roughly coincides with the first report of the specimen found in Puget Sound, Washington. You can actually learn a lot from museums. Sometimes you don't even realize what your specimen's going to say. Or what piece of an invasive marine species puzzle your specimen may reveal. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.